One of the things I wish someone had given me as advice when I started my career is to resist the temptation to try to be like everyone else. Uh, the field of student affairs really needs people from diverse backgrounds and pathways that are representative of what our students are going to experience. This is the only way that we'll be able to support all students to thrive. A random fact that you wouldn't know about me from reading my bio or my resume is that I worked full time through all of my higher education. My bachelor's degree, it took me 10 years to earn that. My master's degree, I drove 80 miles each way twice a week at night over a four year period to earn that. And in terms of my dissertation for my doctorate, I drove 3000 miles in the 2009 calendar year to collect all my dissertation data. I like to tell students that resilience is my middle name. I love to talk about why did I join NASPA and how did I get involved? Really, it wasn't a choice. My graduate school faculty, Dr. Cynthia Johnson and Dr. Kate Goddard were both NASPA members and my first supervisor in student affairs, Sandra Kugler, was a member of NASPA as well. So it really wasn't a choice. And in terms of getting involved, something I really, really wanted to do, I started local with my Southern California Executive Committee. I had the opportunity to be the treasurer of the group after attending many, many Southern California drive-in workshop experiences. I've loved my pathway in NASPA. I have to say that the thing that I'm most proud of over the span of my career are the people that I've had the incredible opportunity to meet and know. It's the students who remain a part of my life, sometimes decades later, as I watch them move into their lives and achieve so much. It's the staff that I had the privilege to supervise, to learn from, and to learn with, and to accomplish things on behalf of all the students that we serve. And ultimately, it's about those who have supported me, the incredible mentors, the coaches, the sheroes, the people who have showed up in my life and supported me to achieve what I was looking to do. Without them, I would not receive this Pillar Award.